No, listen, I have to go. Dr. Ann Louise Gittleman is here with us right now. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Love you too. Bye-bye. Ouch. <laughs> cell phones. This is a brand new book. Look who I'm talking on the cell phone with, Dr. Ann Louise Gittleman. Now, you know her as the first lady of nutrition, right? She's written 30 books, Fat Flush, Gut Flush, all bestsellers. She's done everything in Hollywood. I'm not Dr. Phil. I'm not the Good Morning America show. I am Know the Cause show, but thank you for coming in and sitting with me. Anyway, you and I go way back. We I do mean, go way we're back. We're old buddies for a long time. This is interesting. The antenna, you know, runs up here, and here it is right smack on my ear. Cell phones. S cell phones. Well, well, the reality is, you know, using your cell phone intermittently throughout the day, I, I think, is a wonderful technological advance. The problem is that we're on it consistently and constantly. And what the studies seem to indicate is that heavy-duty cell phone use uh, for about 10 years is going to evidence a brain tumor. That's what most of the studies are pointing to. Now, the reality is when my little tumor evidenced, it was only three or four years of heavy-duty cell phone use. So I think we're all very different. Mm -hmm. I feel that what's important is that you're conscious of the fact that you're using something near your head. This is a mini microwave. It's a low-powered microwave oven. And you've got it right near your brain. And if you have a child that is under the age of uh, 18, let's say, those are the individuals that really should not be using the them. The thin bone. Well, right? the thin bones, the thin skulls, they absorb 50% more radiation directly into the brain. This has been shown by Dr. Om Gandhi at the University of Utah. Lots of good studies you'll find here in the book. I love the book. And so you do not want to be using, oh, this is on, my goodness. You don't want to be using it consistently. Throws <laughs> it off the set. Well, well how I, some... I, I live in a wireless free zone. When people come into my house, you know, you tell them, take off your shoes, please, let's wear your, some slippers. I say, give me your cell phone. Because my whole home now is wireless. It is EMF free. We have done all kinds of things to make it a healing haven because we're so immersed when we go out of the house 24-7 with all the cell phone towers, with the movie theaters, with the motels, going on an airplane. Everything is wireless and you've got electrical appliances beyond that. So th there are different levels of all these EMFs that the body simply was not naturally developed from, nor have we evolved into, nor have we had the time to adapt to. That's really what the secret is. And they're genotoxic. I mean, this is interesting. They can break DNA. Well, according to the studies that have been done by some very erudite scientists that I talk about here, we talk about Henry Lai, we talk about the work that was done by Leonard Hardell, they have shown that not only is the DNA broken, but there are leaks in the blood-brain barrier. You basically come unglued, you lose calcium from the cell membrane, and that's a major neurotransmitter. So things start firing and missignaling all over the place. Dr. Ann Louise Gittleman has written a book called Zapped, best-selling New York Times author. Thank you for coming in and being with us today. Do read this, my friends. If you have children at home, loved ones, do read this book, Zapped. Uh, don't go away. I'll be right back with more. By just simply looking at how our bodies respond to trauma, our bodies heal themselves. And if our bodies are not healing themselves and if they're getting worse, that's an indication that something's wrong, something's off, and we need to get to the root cause of it.